O Lord that has created the hills of old, I give thee my thanks. Whom shall I exalt, if not you, O Lord? Whom shall I give all my thanks? O Lord, thou that has created the mountains of old, it is you that I gave all my thanks. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the head. The strength of the ease is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are all the people of his flesh pastures, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptations in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do hear in their hearts, and they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord of every soul, King of glory, Lord of Lord, you are the most powerful God, you are the perfect one, O Lord. Glory be to your name this morning. We come to you again today, O Lord, King of glory, accept our thanks. Thou are the one that we shall be calling morning, afternoon, and night. All the days of our life we shall be calling you and giving you thanks. The thanks that we brought to you today, let it be acceptable before thee. Reason for us not to be able to give you thanks. Do not allow this to happen to us, O Lord. Let us be able to be continually to give you praise. Lord, your power, your glory, your mercy surround us all today. We are now going to your word today, O Lord. Continue to join in with us. Do not depart from us, O Lord. Bless us, O Lord. We shall continue to be able to praise you. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Glory be to the Lord today for another glorious Sunday. For you being able to make us to be alive to see this glory. Everlasting Father, accept our thanks. This morning, the title of our sermon is, I will give you rest. I will give you rest. The Spirit of the Lord has sent me to you this morning. Every living soul, everybody that is still living today, the Spirit of the Lord said that today, a special Sunday, that you're supposed to be able to pick one thing that is making you sad, one thing that you've been believing the Lord for so long, one thing that you are waiting upon the Lord for for a very long time, that you are thinking that it's a big problem in your life. The Spirit of the Lord said that you should pick one of those things. Because many at times we do eat, we do drink, we are blessed. But there are something that is still making you to be sad. Despite the fact that you are rich, you have the money. But money cannot buy that thing. So the Spirit of the Lord said, I should tell you today that as I am going to church today, that pick one thing to have a covenant with the Lord. Pick one thing and make a vow. And think deeply that today, that this year, in that church that you are going, in that church that you do worship the Lord, think for one thing that you want to do. If you believe in the Lord, and you worship in that church, and you know that the Lord reigns in that church, now have a covenant with the Lord today, that, oh Lord, if you can do this for me this month, this year, I am going to do this. You must have a vow. The Spirit of the Lord said, I should tell you today that no matter your problem, no matter what you are looking for, no matter that problem, no matter how important that thing is, you just come to the Lord. Once you come to the Lord, the Lord will deliver you and the Lord will give you peace. Have that belief today that you will be saved and that you have peace. There's no one that can do it for you. Not any abalies. Not any abalies. But it is the Lord. The Lord is the King of Kings. He is the one that can do it. No 
Kabbalists can do it. No fake prophets can do it. Only God can do it. Many a times, all those fake prophetesses, all those fake prophets, all those Abadis, they can say that they can do it for you. They can say that they will deliver you. But let me tell you, even if they deliver you, it can never be permanent. Only the one that the Lord gives unto you, there will be permanent in your life. Hear me well this morning. No matter what you are going through, no matter what you are passing through, no matter how high that mountain before you is, the Lord is going to bring, in, bring them down. Go to the Lord today with singing. Go to the Lord today with joy in your heart. Do not forget everything that I told you in the past. Today, as you are going to that church, look at the four corners of that building and look at whatever that you want to do in that church. Have that vow today. The first person to make that vow today, the Lord will answer your prayer. As the Lord liveth, every soul that is going to church today, the Lord will be merciful unto you. The Lord will be merciful unto you. Do not allow anything to disturb you from being before the Lord today. Try and arise today. Now, hold on to that rock of salvation. Hold on to it and go to church today to go and fight with the devil. The book of Matthew, Matthew 11, chapter 11, 20 to 30. Matthew 11, 20 to 30. And it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, and learn of me, for I am meek and lonely in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my body is light. Jesus is the one speaking here. Is the one, is the one that can give you peace. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God is the one that has got that rest. Is the one to give you the rest? Is the one to answer your prayer? Is it your problem over your children? Is it your problem over that your marriage? You see your problem over that your husband. As the Lord live it today, the Lord will give you rest. The Lord will give you rest. And the day of your fasting shall come to an end in Jesus' name. Every problems, trials, and tribulations being given to you by the enemies to bring you down. In Jesus' name today I pray. The Lord will conquer for you. Today is the day of rest. The Lord will give you rest. Remember you are going before the Lord today. Do what is right before him. Forget about everything of the world. Forget about everybody that has sinned unto you. Just go like a shadow of the Lord. Do not go like a shadow of the devil. Go before him. Bow before him. Be able to do your own responsibility before the Lord. And after this, he be well with you. I'm not going to speak much today. This is a revelation for you today. That as you are going to your church today, remember to make that vow. And maybe you already had a vow. Remind him of your vow according to the revelation of today. That, oh Lord, if you are able to do this, this is what I am going to do. And make sure, make sure that you value this. Make sure that you are able to pay your vow. Because many people, when they are in problem, after the Lord has solved that problem for them, they will not remember that vow anymore. This is not good. Remember when you are shouting and crying and praying when you are in that problem. Now you are happy and at peace. And that spirit is now telling you to keep quiet and forget about everything. This is not right. This is not right. Any vow that you make with the Lord, you must be able to pay the vow. And do not relent in paying that vow. Today, go to your church, make that vow, and if you already made the vow, try and remind him. Remind the Lord of your vow. Yes. And once you, when the Lord has already answered you, make sure you pay your vow. Because even you as parents, if you do something to your children, and that child refuse to thank you, you will not be happy. You will not be happy. 
so try and be appreciative you must be appreciative the lord says his yoke is easy and his body is light there's no problem with the lord at all because if you go to the herbalist the herbalist can say to you to go and bring cow he can say to you to go and bring a boat he can even tell you to be walking around naked but with the lord there's nothing like that the yoke of the lord is easy his body is so light go before him today give him thanks try to be perfect before him be holy before him do not join those people that are backbiting do not join those that are fighting this is not good in the church of the lord don't turn yourself to the enemies of everybody don't behave as if you are the one that is feeding every soul try and humble yourself humble yourself before the lord do not go to church to talk and backbiting do not go to church to start drinking but go to church today with heart of holiness Go there to thank the Lord and praise Him. Use whatever you have to praise the Lord. Do whatever you're supposed to do. Do your own responsibility. Because this morning, the Lord is going to wipe all your tears. The Lord is going to glorify you. And the Lord will make you a very big nation. And your name will be changed. You will see the powerful hands of the Lord in your life. Today is a glorious day. Today is a day the Lord is going to bless many people. Among those that will be blessed today, your name will be among them. Among those to be glorified today, your names will be there. Among those that the Lord is going to be happy with, your family's name will be there. Today you are promoted. You will never go back. You will never go back. Every covenant of today will come to fulfillment in your life. To finish my word of today, what the Lord said I should tell you, today is that you should make sure that you go before the lord with your joyful heart with dancing to fulfill your covenant and it shall be well with you call the name of the lord jesus christ wherever you are holy spirit one time and say oh lord i thank thee for you count me among the living today i glorify thee because you didn't allow me to be dead continue to pray in jesus name in jesus name in Jesus' name, King of kings, Lord of lords, I glorify thee, I pray thee, I saw thee. For you have made me to be among the living today. Today I am not dead. Oh, you are protecting me. I sought and glorify your name. The Lord of every soul, I set my tongues. I set my tongues. I set my tongues. I set my tongues. Let me continue to be able to praise you. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that all those spirits, that are making me to misbehave yes because you are going to church with one spirit but by the time you go get to that church people will now come to you and make you to change that spirit in you you will no more worship the lord you will be looking at those that are eyeing you you'll be looking at those that wants to abuse you and then you will change that spirit in you call upon jesus christ today and say all those spirits that are always stand by the entrance of the door so that by the time I enter into that church, I can start misbehaving. That spirit, pray and rebook them today. Pray and rebook them today. Because once that spirit come upon you, you will not want to greet anybody again. You will just change from being good. All those spirits that are misleading you, that are making you to misbehave, send them packing today. Continue to pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, every spirit that are making me to misbehave, continue to flee from me. Flee from me in Jesus' name. Flee from me in Jesus' name. Flee from me in Jesus' name. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. Don't let me misbehave today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Call upon Jesus Christ and say, O Lord, O Lord, open heaven for me. Open heaven today. Open heaven today. Open, oh, open heaven today. You are able to be open oh, for people in the Bible. And the Lord answered that prayer. Today, oh Lord, open the heaven so that everything that I ask today, give it unto me. Make today to be a special day. A day to be remembered, to be remembered in my life. Continue to pray in Jesus' name. 
name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, open ever for me. You are able to open for Cornelius. And you answer his prayer in Jesus' name. Open heaven today, oh Lord. Open heaven, open heaven for me. Open heaven for me. Open heaven for me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Fourth time, call upon Jesus Christ and pray. Call upon his name three times. Holy Spirit, one time. And say unto the Lord, King of glory, reveal yourself to me today. You reveal yourself on the mount of sinner. You reveal yourself on the mount Oreb. You reveal yourself on Mount Basha. Today, O oh Lord, reveal yourself unto me. O oh Lord, oh, reveal yourself unto me today. Reveal yourself unto me today. Let every soul know that I worship you. Show yourself in my life. Walk through my life today. Continue to pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, King of Kings, Lord of lords oh lord show yourself in myself show yourself in my life you show yourself on Mosina. you show yourself on most horrible you show yourself on much basha holy spirit show yourself in my life today help me oh lord answer my prayer answer my prayer answer my prayer in jesus name i pray amen call upon jesus christ every causes every causes that comes with every day every problems that come with every day that as poor people's glory, I decree and I declare today. Now I decree in the name of the Father, name of the Son, no name of the Holy Spirit. Free from me. Now free from me. Go into the sea. Go into the trees. Go into the sea. Go into the trees. Go into that sea. Go into the sea. Go to the trees. The joy of this year. Let it be my promotion of this year. Let me let it be my help me, O Lord. Continue to pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, every causes, every problems, every tribulations that comes with today, that comes with the day. Today, O oh Lord, make them to be powerless. Make them to be powerless. Make them to be powerless. Help me, O oh Lord. The glory of today. Let it be my promotion of today. Let it be my exalt me, O oh Lord. Exalt me, O oh Lord. Exalt me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. I have prayed. Call upon Jesus Christ and say, Oh Lord, this is the fifth prayer point. The fifth prayer point, King of Glory. Let all my problems come to an end today. Every power of the wishes and wizard, let them flee from me. I am going before the Lord. I am going to the King of Kings. I am going before the King of Kings. Every problems of my life, let them come to an end. Problems of my life come to an end. Continue to pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, I call upon thee today. Every problems of my life, let them come to an end. Let them come to an end. Thou art the one that delivered the Israelites. Thou art the one that delivered the three Hebrews. King of glory, today, every problems of my life, let them come to an end. Let them come to an end. Help me, O Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. This final prayer, say unto the Lord, your powerful hands of mercy lay it upon me today lay your powerful hands of mercy upon my soul be merciful to me today be merciful to me today in the service of today let me find mercy continue to pray in jesus name in jesus name everlasting father today as i'm going to your church to serve you to worship you king of glory be merciful unto me be merciful unto me bless me oh lord bless me oh lord let me see your power let me see your hand open the door of mercy the door of mercy begin to open begin to open begin to open your mercy from above descend it upon me help me oh lord help me oh lord bless me oh lord i was going to praise you in jesus name i have prayed amen 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 the lord of peace may he give you peace today the lord of peace may he give you peace today Everlasting peace from above may and doubt upon you. Today, as you are going to church to serve the Lord, the Lord, the Lord of Lords, every covenant of blessing may come to fulfillment in your life. The glory of your life may become to show up today, may begin to show up today. Among those to be glorified today, may your name be among them. Among those that will have the grace of the Lord today, may your name be among them. Every problem of your life may come to an end. Every lack in your family may come to an end. Every problems of your matrimonial home may they come to an end. Problems of that your job may they come to an end. Today, the Lord paved way for you. May the Lord pave way for you. Today, 
a very good husband, a very good wife. May the Lord endow it upon you. As you are going today to church, you will be glorified. You will be glorified. You will be glorified. No one will be able to touch your glory. Your glory will not be corrupted. Your glory will not be tarnished. In Jesus' name, every good thing of above, the Lord will give it unto you. The powerful hands of the Lord will touch you today. The powerful hand of the Lord will touch you today. Today, receive your goodness. And the heaven will be hopeful for you. Heaven will be open for you. Heaven will be open for you. All those angels, all those helping angels, all those guiding angels, may they come in your favor. May they come in your favor. Today, they will come in your favor. All those angels, all those angels that do protect someone, they will come to you and start living to you. On that your child, you will not lament and cry anymore. On your children, you will not cry anymore. On your job, oh, you will not cry anymore. The Lord of freedom will give you freedom today. Hear this today. Hear this this morning. One David was about to be appointed as king. Oh, every soul. All his brethren, they came forth and they said, No, there was none among them. But the man of God refused to sit until then. When he came around today, someone to help you, if they do not find you today, they will not rest. They will not rest until when they help you. Today, every covenant the Lord has made with you will come to fulfillment. That garment of goodness, the Lord will put it upon you. The powerful hand of the Lord today will descend on you as the Lord liveth. Hear me well today. Hear me well today. Every covenant of the wishes, every covenant of the devil, the Lord will erase them. The Lord will erase them. Receive your mercy. It is so. Authority from above has already come upon it. It will never be reversed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 That's it for this morning. I will give you rest. This is the word of the Lord for you. Hold on to this. I will give you rest. It will never be reversed. In Jesus' name, amen. Hear this announcement. The prayer for the month of January is already out on YouTube. And it's titled, Can the Promise of God Fail? That is the topic. It's already on YouTube. If you've not received the link, ask and we'll send it to you. Or go on YouTube and search for Hope M TV. Hope M TV. H O P E M. H O P E M. Hope M TV. Hope M TV. Hour of Peace Evangelical Ministry. You can search for it and it's there. Can God promise fail? That is the topic. Can God promise fail? No. The promise of the Lord does not fail. Is there? Who are those that the Lord has already had covenant with? What is the promise of the Lord for you this year? It's full of prayer. Go there and listen. Many people have been going on it to listen, and they are already praying, and they are testifying to the goodness of the Lord, and they have the faith and belief in the Lord. And I'm rest assured that from today, they will continue to see the powerful hand of the Lord. Do not say you are the pastor. Do not say you are the prophet, or you are the wife of a prophet. No, don't say that. Remember, iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron. And you don't know where your help is going to come from. So just go. Go and listen. Go and listen. You cannot know it all. You might be thinking that you are perfect. No, you are not perfect. You can still learn from others. Iron sharpens iron. So go there and check. Go there and listen. Can God promise fail? Is what is titled. So go there. You can type Hour of Peace Ministry or Open TV on YouTube for you to be able to find what we are talking about. Go there and listen. Do not fast forward it. Listen to everything. Listen to everything. Don't fast forward the word of the Lord and go to the prayer section. Don't just listen to the prayer. Listen to the word of God from the beginning. Don't just fast forward. Start from the beginning. And listen true to the end. Yes. Listen from the beginning. Yes. Do not consider the time at all. Find time to listen from beginning to the end. Go and listen. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. When you listen to the word and you pray, have faith. Have faith. 
you don't need any other thing again that's all that you need make your faith make your faith to be so strong and listen if you pray if you listen and you have faith it will be well with you and make use of everything that you hear from it that's just it that's it he said nothing can be possible nothing can be done if not true prayer and fasting this is what the lord says this is what the lord says when you come back from church try and search for it and make sure you listen and as i'm going today as the lord lives the door of grace has been opened among those that we enter your name is among them your name is among them oh you are going to that grace go through to that door that door of mercy that door of grace that door of mercy that door of grace enter through it now the powerful hands of the lord is upon you and it's not going to be removed you have joy you will not cry you will not lament it is so it will never be reversed in jesus name i pray amen 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 i'm the next in line for testimony bye